Hey, welcome back. It's Lamentations 3, verses 7 to 9 for our reading this morning. We're doing the Lamentations of Jeremiah. He has hedged me in so that I cannot get out. He has made my chain heavy. Even when I cry and shout, he shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my ways with hewn stone. He has made my paths crooked. Again, we said this chapter is a very uh, biographical chapter. And so we're getting kind of some of the inside thinking and the inside feelings of the Lord's servant, the prophet Jeremiah. And there's some pretty hard ones in this chapter. So notice here that, that God directs us providentially. He has hedged in his way. He's, he's kind of worked things out. We say sometimes, well, we're going to see if, if God opens this door or closes this door, uh, which direction we're going to go on a certain thing in our life. Well, there's many times that the prophets certainly experienced this as well. Many times when they found doors closed and it seemed like a very difficult way to to go forward to wherever they they thought God was leading. And so we need to just persevere and take going forward, taking one step at a time. It'll be okay. God will be with us. We will someday look back. We can't see through from here to here, but when we get to the end and we look back one day, we'll see how God was leading all the way in it. For us to take this pathway, whatever it was, that was the right path. That was a path that God was actually blessing and providentially intervening. In fact, when we see some of the missteps that we were on on the point of making, and by God's intervention, we didn't make them, we're going to sing his praises. We're going to sing his praises. We're going to be so pleased. So let's carry on and remember that God is guiding us. Keep in mind what we said also uh, we chose to serve him. We didn't have to serve him. He would have allowed us to be free and go on into destruction. But instead, no, as his servants, you and I and Jeremiah, we've chosen to serve him. And as we choose to serve him, guess what? Sometimes the ways are rough because he's building something. He's building something precious. So when you find your way hedged in going forward, it's hedged in, but you've voluntarily chosen to serve him. And so we know that he has thoughts of of hope, thoughts to give us a future, uh, thoughts to give us peace. He has a a good plan for you. He wants good for your life. It's his pleasure to give you the kingdom. He wants to give you the good pieces. And so when it seems like you just had a disastrous uh, outcome happen, don't worry about it. Trust him instead. The human choice is to worry. The Christian choice is to trust. So when something seems to go completely wrong, We try to step back and go in God's actual path that we now discern better, and we trust him. We just trust him, and we can live that way. You can sleep very sound sleep during the night if you live that way, and God wants us to have that. So what lessons might we draw here? Well, I think a lesson we can draw is God is for us, even when it seems as though, you know, like, what in the world are you doing? Where are you? God is for us. He has good things going on for us. And he only prunes us for for our own benefit and the benefit of his kingdom. He knows what he's doing. We can trust him. At the time, we feel maybe even set upon. But God can change our thoughts and feelings. And we want him to do that very thing. We're going to find out later we we could have trusted him a lot more than we're trusting him now. So let's just start by learning to trust him more now. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us. Help us when we have trouble seeing the pathway ahead. Help us to learn to trust you. Be our guide. Be our helper. Lord, hedge us in. Hedge us in on on this side or on that side. Um, Show us the way. We are walking. We're trying to be in the right place. When we make a mistake, bring us back, Lord. Help us to find your path. Help us to learn all along this way, Lord, to trust in you. And we know that in the end we'll say, Wow, God was really very closely and for my best outcome, working for my heart when all that stuff happened. At the time, it just seemed disastrous. It seemed like we couldn't understand what you were doing. But now, from the standpoint of looking back, one day we will give give high praise to you. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'm certain that's the way it will be for you and I as we keep on serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed today.